Hello out there, our friends in the crypto world, EFI IoT. Hey, I got an announcement for you guys. Uh, the lead hotspots, the test net, is coming along well. It actually could come closer to reaching the milestone in April than June. That's good news. You'll be able to get light hotspots, like full hotspots, soon and at half the price. Let's talk a little bit about it. So I just wanted to give you a brief update. I'm headed up to the hills right now to keep working on our, our property that we're trying to sell. So we're looking for our to buy our new crypto mining farm, to build it, to buy the land, to start, start building it. We see a future for GPUs and ASIC mining, renewables. Like I said, we bought a whole bunch of, of uh, panels, solar panels. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I want to get you a quick update on what's going on with Helium, that the test net with the OGs that they have actually based in Modesto, California, uh, is actually showing success. In other words, what's gonna happen is your full hotspot you have right now, we will take that load from carrying the blockchain from our full hotspots, and that's going to be moved, okay? And, and there's more to it than that, but I'm just gonna try to keep it very simple. What we try to do in the channel is keep things very simple for people that maybe are new in this, or even those who maybe don't understand completely seem to be a lot out there and we're all continue to learn as we go forward this is technology so in other words what's going to happen is light hotspots are going to be half the price so you'll be able to pick hotspots up around that 300 dollars range as we've talked before the other is that all full hotspots looks like possibly in april helium is calling for the end of march to end the test net so it's looking like in april as long as there's no glitches and they're still trying to work out some bugs Going into April, we could be moving into all light hotspots. So all full hotspots then will no longer have to worry about carrying the blockchain, which means we're going to have a lot more uptime. Uh, yeah, we lose about, give or take, 1%, just under 1% that's going to be moved from us, but we're still going to function the same and get paid basically the same as we would with the full hotspots. The advantage here is that we're going to have a lot less downtime. A lot of problems that are coming with helium right now, and it's frustrating, I know, because we're frustrated too, is because that these little hotspots are trying to carry the blockchain. They carry a lot of data on it, and it's just caused a lot of downtime. So Milestone 4 actually is being pushed because they reached their, a point of saturation where it's necessary. So it's not, I don't see it going to be, if it gets delayed, it's not going to be delayed by much. So it looks like in April, maybe latest May, we should be on light hotspots. Now, everything should be a light hotspot. A light hotspot is different than a data-only hotspot. So don't go buying your Dragino, your 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 your, your, your so the ones they have there. That you can buy now the Dragino outdoor and indoors. Those are data-only hotspots. Now, Dragino will come out with a light hotspot. You can reserve one on Chov, C H O O V dot I O. Still today, um, that's a Dragino light hotspot. Not data only, please. There's a difference between the two. The data only will not function as a full hotspot. Light hotspots will once the milestone four, once that transition is made, which we are coming down to the last few weeks here in March, that the test net wants, the Helium wants to in the test net to look into now bringing us over and converting all full hotspots to light hotspots, as we've been talking about since late last year. That's upon us now. I would not be buying any more full hotspots and paying the price for it. You're noticing they're coming down because they know what's going to happen. You know, the, the, the light hotspot is going to come in and they need a lot less memory. And it's a lot less uh, the computer, basically. So you're going to be able to buy a lot of hotspot, light hotspots cheaper. Remember, data-only hotspots are not light hotspots. They're different. You don't want to get involved with data-only right now unless you're going to go to another techno uh, te technological level, which is something that 
it's a lot more entailed, the detail. Light hotspots are going to be easier and simple for people to get involved. It would be good for the network as far as being able to grow the network more and a lot less downtime. So even though we're going to lose just under 1% of what our earnings possibly could be, we will still be able to witness and so forth. There's things we can still do, and we'll still actually make better than that 1%, I feel, because we won't have the downtime or the glitches. So I just want to let you know that. Give you a heads up. I would think, I would think twice about buying full hotspots at this point. Not that they won't work. So if you want to get one, you can find one at a good price, then jump on it. But as we mentioned, like today, for example, last day you can get involved with uh, MNT, MNTV with the rack to get into that drawing. So today would be it. That's $400 for the black the black spot. That's not a bad price. Maybe $100 more, and you get it now. We don't know who's going to actually sell or when they're going to have light hotspots in. So it might not be a bad option. DeFi IoT, if you like what we're giving you, subscribe, please. Give us a thumbs up and uh, hit that bell, and we'll be back with more information as soon as we get it. See you tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed this segment of our video with DeFi IoT. Remember, we're not professional advisors. We do this as a business as a hobby, and we study, we experiment, and we want to share it with you. If you can get some benefit from this, great. What we do is we go out, we purchase with our own money, and we experiment to see what the true results are. We want you to be able to share in our experiences so you don't have to lose like we have. If you can win where we've won, fantastic. Remember to do your own research and your own homework. It's very important before you make any decisions. We will see you in our next video.